don't know if the same problem. I don't know if it's the same problem as Durgan's, but it's definite that the queen we have seen is a completely different person. I hope that the last crystal gives us an answer. Let's go. step away for a second and when we return uh i get back uh we will finish this up or at least try to get to the last crystal all right so will we continue last crystal <clears throat> This is the last crystal. You and Colgan slowly reach for the crystal. Durgan was gazing at the city at dusk as usual. Durgan. The queen was standing there as Durgan turned around. As Durgan kneeled, the queen stopped him. I have something to give to you. Saying that, the queen held out an old sword. Your growth is remarkable. Even the Dua, who rarely ever praises people, was impressed. You have truly become a suitable queen's guard. You are now worthy to bear this sword. The sword has been passed down from generation to generation between the queen's guard. I am looking forward to your work with this sword in your hand. Next unexpected word surprised Durgan. Your Majesty, now take this sword. Durgan gave his deepest thanks and then reached out for the sword. Just as Durgan's fingers were about to grasp the sword, hmm, you give the sword so you give the sword to one who is after your life. Durgan's body stiffened. Who goes there? Fluctuation of magic gathered into one form. Durgan quickly shielded the queen behind his back. The old bishop appeared in a haze. And at his feet, by his feet, laid Sophia. Sophia! I thought I told you not to create a weakness, my puppet. Durgan froze solid when he completely, he his completely changed foster parent in the word Puppet. Jurgen, I'll make you remember your mission. Kill the queen. Do it. If you say no, then this girl dies. She's a queen's guard. She would be happy to give her life for the queen. I'm not saying now. Think about it. Save this girl, or save the queen. Ponder it carefully. <clears throat> The old bishop and Sophia began to fade away. Durgan could not move. Fulgan was also frozen like Durgan. Stiffly he turned his head toward you. What is this? I didn't know this. I didn't no notice, even when it happened in the castle? You weren't the one who kidnapped Sophia to lure Her Majesty? Raves of memory rolled in as if to answer his question. Durgan could neither kill the queen nor abandon Sophia. The Durgan chose to meet the old bishop all by himself. The underground temple. How hateful it looks now. Sophia! The old bishop... By the old bishop's side was Sophia, bound by magic. Durgan carefully took a stance with the sword of the queen's guard given to him by the queen. Durgan, so you disobey me to the end. The old bishop's face began covered it became covered in anger. Then this girl shall die. 
Bia shut her eyes, Durgan ran forward, and then a dignified voice echoed. Halt! The old bishop smiled. Welcome, my queen, to my temple. Your majesty, why? I told you, Durgan. I would risk my life for your heart. Hmm. You're sacrificing your life for my puppet. Hold your tongue, peasant dog. I have no life to give you. I am risking my life for the sake of Sophia and Durgan. Durgan, this is an order. They'll save Sophia and return safely. As she finished her sentence, the battle began. The old bishop cast a spell. Durgan defended. The queen and the old bishop's magic clashed. Countless attacks, endless defenses. Repeating turns of combat. In a flash, Durgan took back Sophia, and in a flash, Durgan injured his left arm. Even so, Durgan, without a second thought, blocked the magic aimed for the queen. Then Durgan slashed the, slashed the shade that was quite, trying to attack the queen from behind. The shade collapsed at that instant. Fulgin and some knights came to the underground temple looking for the missing queen. Durgan, what in the hell are you doing? It was have thought Durgan had his sword pointed at the queen. The old bishop shouted before you or the queen could say anything. Ha ha ha, enough, Durgan. I have enough magic for the ritual. Golden light surrounded the old bishop. The old the knights who attacked the old bishop out of fear were swallowed by the light. No! Sophia, who broke free of the spell, threw herself in front of Durgan. The spin back of the spell felt like it was tearing Durgan apart. You're tearing me apart! Lich person! Sophia disappeared into the white light. Durgan's consciousness was also fading away in the light. Durgan summoned up the la his last strength and threw the sword of the queen's guard at the old bishop. And so Duhan was destroyed in the flash. Aha! The voice of the old bishop echoed in the through throughout the space in between memory and reality. Oh my lord, take this offering. You return to reality slightly disoriented. Fragmented pieces of, of your memory have now finally been put together. Kurgan bit his lips so Kogan bit his hip so hard it was bleeding. His clenched fist was quivering. Durgan, I quietly shook your head. Logan eased his tension. I still don't get it. Why did Ludua not want us to see this? Was there something we missed? Logan narrowed his eyes, thinking. Ludua said that one time, for the sake of Her Majesty. Her Majesty. Logan thinks about the Queen on the first floor. The atelier that differed. Th in his memory with eyes cold as ice. Fulgan smiled slightly. No, it can't be. That's just too much. Lost my network connection, but that's okay. I'm still recording. Fulgan could not suppress the anxiety that was building up inside. What a tragic life. Humans can live on when there's someone who believes in you. Oh, we're back connected. Yay. Having none of that, losing the little piece that you finally gained, you lost your memory. I'm not saying that I understand all your feelings, but don't forget that you have friends here and now, even if we aren't that dependable. The crystal crystal definitely showed us many things we didn't know. There's one puzzle I can't figure out. What is this offering he mentioned? 
It was obstinately after Her Majesty. Does it point to Queen Atelier? If so, then is Her Majesty dead? I think this is a mission we must carry out. Okay, we got a chest over here. Let's go. Let's go get it. Ow. Stab. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed the show, please like and subscribe. And also consider backing my Patreon. Patreon backers get episodes up to one week early of this show and any f future Let's Plays. Also, please consider backing my coffee. Uh, toss me a few bucks, also helps support the show, and it's not a monthly obligation or anything like that.